Now, this morning we're taking a look at a new effort to ease the headache of traffic for people who live and work in Buckhead. Liza Lucas standing by live for us this morning. Liza, 6 a.m. traffic there already picking up. It's why a task force is now on the table. Good morning, Cheryl. Yes, indeed, I'm live for you here in kind of the center of it all off of Roswell Road and Peachtree. And as you mentioned, yes, the, pa the cars are starting to whiz by me this morning. And this is still nothing compared to what those who live and work in Buckhead deal with. The congestion they're tired of and they're really anxious for something to be done about it. Brenda Pruitt uses a scooter to get around. And when it comes to Buckhead traffic, she's seen some close calls. They frequently don't look to see who is trying to get across, so I've almost been run over God knows how many times. The congestion and safety top of mind for those who live and work in the area. It's gotten to a tipping point. Jim Durrett is the executive director of the Buckhead Community Improvement District. He says an increase in commuter traffic is causing the gridlock. It's pretty difficult to get around many places in Atlanta. We've been growing so much, but getting across uh, into Buckhead from the I-75 corridor is of particular concern because you're coming through neighborhood streets and they weren't designed for a commute style of traffic. Atlanta City Council could soon vote to form a traffic task force if such legislation passes committee. Durrett would be part of the team tasked with figuring out the problems and solutions. The study needs to be done so that you can better understand the problem. We just want to make sure we're not pulling out a sledgehammer when we should be tapping on attack. Whether it's improving sidewalks, adding more traffic calming devices, or leaning more on public transit, Janelle Bailey knows when it comes to traffic. They need to fix this. If they want to have more people working these jobs and to feel comfortable and safe on the road, you have to do something with the infrastructure. So next step is to see whether this task force gets the green light. The Transportation Committee is set to discuss the proposal at its April 24th meeting. That is next Wednesday. If it moves forward, it will go to full council in May. Live for you in Buckhead this morning, Liza Lucas, 11 Alive News.